aggressive push to rid the city of road and motorcycle gangs that threaten drivers and pedestrians. As part of a zero tolerance policy, the city will hold a public crush in to destroy confiscated bikes. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer with the motorbike crackdown. They are a menace and a danger, rogue motorcycle gangs that terrorize motorists and pedestrians with their aggressive and threatening behavior. And New York City is not going to take it anymore. Individuals operating these bikes, these knuckleheads, I describe this as a big problem in the sense of the danger and risk that they present, that these clowns present in terms of their pack mentality where they have no concern for public safety at all. They're up on sidewalks, they're in and out of traffic. The folks who do this uh, think they have a right to bother everyone else. At the monthly briefing on crime statistics, officials said they've begun a new crackdown. Since the first of the year, they've confiscated 312 motorcycles, dirt bikes, and ATVs. That's twice as many as last year, and they're only just beginning. In the last two weeks, uh, we've made 65 seizures. The move follows the incident in which Alexi and Lien and his wife and daughter were surrounded and terrorized on the Henry Hudson Parkway near 96th Street by a biker gang. The crackdown will include a very public ceremony where confiscated bikes will be crushed and sold for scrap. These bikes that are so near and dear to them, they're not going to be too happy when we take those damn things and crush them so that they can't be used. Announcement of the motorcycle crackdown also distracted attention from the fact that slashings and stabbings are up 21 percent since the first of the year. 899 slashings and stabbings so far this year compared to 746 last year. There were two last Friday, including one at the A train station in lower Manhattan, another near the subways at Penn Station, where a panhandler reportedly stabbed a man who refused to give him money. Both incidents happened at locations and times outside the parameters of the NYPD's new anti-stabbing initiative. No date has yet been set for the crushing of the motorcycles, which the mayor called a crush-in. At police headquarters, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. The commissioner said that about 80% of bikes confiscated are not returned. He would like to make that 100%. He is also asking for the public's help in identifying places where the bikes are stored when not on the road. Police